I think it was fair. All right, now, uh, so we did number one. Number one was uh, stabilizing selection. Uh, how about the next one? Seed cracker birds have either large beaks or small beaks. They do not have medium-sized beaks because medium-sized beaks do not allow for the adequate cracking of seeds. We got disruptive? Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's skip down a little bit. Let's do number four. Population of Madagascar hissing cockroaches lives in a wood pile. The cockroaches are eaten by lizards. Because the lizards have small heads, the lizards are unable to eat the largest adult cockroaches and instead of prey upon the small and medium-sized adults. Over time, only the large-headed lizards survive. Yeah, so we're only having the large ones win. This is evolution. This is not speciation. They're changing over time. We're changing the whole species. Fantastic. Uh, a population of birds of various sized beaks eat seeds. Small seeds can be eaten by birds with small beaks. Larger, thicker seeds can be eaten by birds with larger, thicker be beaks. During a drought, only large, thick seeds exist, so only the large, thick beak birds survive. Yeah. Kelly says directional. Is that what we all put? So everything else dies. The large, beaked ones live, survive. Awesome, fantastic. Uh, women also often have complications during labor while giving birth to a very large baby's. Uh, whereas very small babies tend to be underdeveloped. As a result, medium-sized babies are the ones that most end up surviving to adulthood. What have we got besides Kelly? Something else. Stabilizing. Stabilizing. Very good. So was this easy? General idea? Cool. So those are the main ones here. There's some other ones, obviously, but if you have questions on them, you can ask me.